First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wawakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him endearing and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. This is Proverbs chapter one and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. So the Lord is asking our people, how long are fools going to hate knowledge? Now, you might find yourself talking to somebody and just being yourself. Next thing you know, after talking to them, they're acting funny. They separate themselves from you. They just went from being cool now it's like they're acting strange. Well, it's probably because you're a knowledgeable person. You being a man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, or just being an individual with a different spirit upon you, people will see that and get offended by it, will want to separate themselves from you. Okay? But the Lord is asking the question how long? All right? How long, ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? So our people are simple-minded. Our people are not very deep at all. Now, they'll try to go deep and get lost in it when it comes to all these different doctrines, but they do not want to even scratch the surface when it comes to this truth. Our people are still stuck on the fact that a woman is not supposed to serve authority over a man. You have men worshiping women. They can't even understand the basic things. So if you talk to our people about knowledgeable things, about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, they're going to be made into your enemy because of it, all right? How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. And our people, for the most of them, they're fools and they hate knowledge. And they're going to hate knowledge until the day that the Lord destroys them. Okay? Now again, it is a question, how long? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 6. I don't know how I went to 17 just now. get in this right lane Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9 and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not see ye indeed but perceive not so our people see us out here teaching doing the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai according to what the Bible says but they don't see it in terms of understanding what's going on. And their minds were nothing, we're nobodies. We're just some average, everyday, bugged out guys who crawled out of a sewer like the Ninja Turtles and decided to pick up a Bible because we were bored on a Tuesday. That's how people act, all right? Verse 10, make the heart be in the mind of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, speaking of their spiritual eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Now remember the question in Proverbs 1 and 22, how long ye simple ones, all right? Now here's the answer. Then said I, Lord, how long? How long will these simple ones, you know, hate um, knowledge? How long will these simple ones reject this word? How long will these simple ones treat this message 
as if it's not important, as if it's of no use. How long, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai? Okay? Now, notification. We all, you know, have our moments where we might question, like, why, why this, why that? You know, you want some understanding. Well, you're about to get some understanding with how long are scorners going to keep on scorning? How long are scoffers going to keep on scoffing? How long are these evil Israelites going to remain in that state of mind if they're not of the elect? Okay. Then, so, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted. What cities? Because this is a future prophecy. Because he asked how long. Now, if you look at our people unto this very day, our people are still are still very wicked, are still blind. So the end of their foolishness has not come to an end yet. It has not ceased just yet. So what cities is this referring to? This is speaking of right now, here in modern day Babylon, okay? Our people, if it's in their judgment to be here when the nukes fall, they are going to remain stupid until they get melted. All right? Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So Yahweh Ba Shemiah Shai is going to keep the majority of these Israelites in a rebellious state of mind. A blind, stubborn, stupid state of mind until ultimately they're consumed off the earth through thermal nuclear destruction. Okay? Now, you have to take that up with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because our people, they're too stupid to receive this knowledge. They're too stupid to understand that they are still slaves. And then when you tell them that they are slaves, they, they really don't even care. They're not really bothered by it. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Notification. Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? So Israel in this modern day time is still Notification. a slave. All right? Sorry, my phone keeps going off. My... Uh, camera at home my dogs are probably outside and the activity is going off so it's making my notifications buzz off notification is israel a servant is he a homeborn slave why is he spoiled because our people are stuck up in you know this society so much that they fell in love with their oppressors they fell in love with the ways of this world okay notification and we try to tell them this isn't our rest. We're not here, you know, to thrive. We're here to suffer punishment. And that's why this happens, that happens. They ain't trying to hear that. They'll still tell you in your face that book is written by the white man. That's crazy as hell. So the white man is, is that powerful. Notification. The white man, the so-called white man is so powerful that he can make prophecies um, just come to pass just like that in real life, in real time. He wrote the book. In advance, and he's he's playing things out because he's he's that um, powerful. If that's the case, we we need to be like Esau. But no, the so-called white men did not write the Bible. All right, whatsoever. So at the end of the day, our people are going to remain in this stupid, you know, slave-like mentality until Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai wipes them off the face of the earth. And that's just an understanding a lot of our people have to get. You just have to understand that. You have to stop being so emotional and sensitive when you hear about the majority of our people not receiving this word and what's going to happen to them. Okay, they're going to be stupid until the day that the Lord destroys this kingdom off the face of the map if they're not of the elect. That's just what's written for them. All right, so I'm going to go on ahead and close it. Got to get into this job. All praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Wa Shalom.